everyone and welcome back. I bet you are. So we are going to continue on here in Hades. Pleasure doing business. Good enough to eat. Oh, look at that. And there. Gigantic Cerberus accepts the prince's foul offering. All right. Let's get going. Thank you, boy. We may end up getting killed. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, hi, father. The shield of chaos. What a monstrous thing. How suitable for you. Excuse me for a moment.
right there goes that. Footed prince steps on the peel of a most exotic, sallow colored fruit and tumbles backward with such sudden violent force that you know what occurs. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> for breakfast. Dinner, maybe? Use them wisely, my friend. I had another question about your relationship to other Gorgons, too, sir. So, I notice you're not much for hissing, snake-like noises when you speak, and so on. Is that some sort of special Gorgon language or something? No, um, not exactly, Prince. It's what it sounds like. Yes. Just scary hissing, really. It takes some practice not to sound like that with a forked tongue. I really wanted to fit in. Hey, how about you? Always wondered how come you have a circus accent. Weren't you born here? Oh, wait, me? I never gave it any thought. I guess it's from my father. He insisted that he teach me how to speak himself. Maybe it's in the blood. Maybe it is. Mother. Zagreus. I will kill oh, that and... Prince. I need your help with something, lad. As I'm about to risk it all, I think. Will you hear me out? Yes, 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 yes! Of course, sir. What is it? I'm listening. The pact I signed with your father. It must be buried somewhere down in the administrative chamber there. I dared not ask that you locate it. Out of fear that tampering with it would only make things worse, except... Except that fear is for the weak, Achilles, sir. Indeed. Besides, your father has been more abiding than I expected with how you were able to nullify the terms for Orpheus and Sisyphus alike, so... Perhaps my case isn't a lost cause yet. I'll speak with Nix about it the next chance I get. And I'll be careful, sir. I promise you. You have my thanks. <laughs> Yay! But... I can't do what I wanted to yet. The house is in order. Nix, this feast Mother has planned. Would it be all right with you if I were to invite Chaos? I hardly think that Chaos would attend any festivity of ours. I'm uncertain that they even could. Even more doubtful that they would want this. However, if you truly wish to ask, proceed. As long as it's okay. What the hell? Let's go with this one then. More substantive material for the music stand. It's done, Mother. Father, the invitations. Personally sent to everyone with whom I've been in contact. So what do we do now? 
Excellent, Zagreus. Congratulate him, Hades. On a job well done. Uh, Persephone, how can you be so certain your request was executed to your satisfaction? It's known as trust, Hades. Or faith. They're similar. Try one sometime. It'll be good for you. As for what we do next, why, we've a great big feast we must prepare. This house is not a suitable location for such guests. Dionysus alone shall bring ruin to this place. Or, uh, the faith thing that you said. Yes, good. Now then, we have a lot of work to go around. So why don't we call everyone on staff and let them in on this, and dole out suitable responsibilities, all right? All right. Yay, he sells him. Right. <laughs> he listens to her completely. I love this relationship. All right. Thus did all of Olympus journey deep into the underworld, all together for the very first time. The Queen Persephone revealed herself in all her splendor, much to their surprise, and told them everything she indicated to her son. She eloped with Grimlord Hades, she said, mothering a fire-stepping prince who sought to reconnect with his extended family. Hades and Persephone at first refused his wish, but so moved were they by his relentless struggles to the surface that at last they decided to heed their willful Zagreus and reach out, for his and everybody's sake. The Olympians listened to all this in stunned silence. Then Zeus himself began to laugh. Welcome back into the family, he said. After the shock subsided, the festivities began. I say, big brother, you and your better half put on a positively smashing night. It's a relief for all of us, knowing Persephone is safe and sound. And mother to as noble of a son as my good nephew there. Well, little brother, the Queen and I, in turn, appreciate you all taking time out of your doubtless busy lives to come all this distance to my house. I'm certain that it's very modest in comparison to Mount Olympus, but I trust that you were suitably entertained. <laughs> of course, of course, Hades. Now then, farewell. And let us keep in better touch from here. Hmm. Farewell indeed, Lord Zeus. When finally the great feast ended, all the Olympians returned to their mountain abode, fully satisfied. As for the house of Hades, it required thorough cleansing from the rafters to the floor. Such revelry, of course, is unbecoming of the name of Hades and the fearsome reputation of the underworld. For if mortals were to have no fear of death, then they would have no fear of anything at all. A well-kept family secret, then, this would live on to be. Family reunited! I'd say that went about as well as could have been expected. And the cleanup wasn't all that bad, for the most part. Well, fortunate Uncle Zeus seemed to catch on right away and went along with it. But this whole elaborate tale you spun, I remember how hurt I felt when I found out Father lied to me about you. Now we're lying to Olympus. What if they find out? Even if they don't, I don't like it. Zagreus, I may not be an expert, but here's what I've come to understand about how families work at least our own the thing is how we speak to one another is even more important than the words we use i think deep down everyone in our family knows this you're saying they all knew you weren't being perfectly honest and went along with it anyway i guess the pomegranate thing in particular was a bit of a stretch the common ground in our family is that we want peace besides Ares, though even he would rather the conflict occur elsewhere that elaborate tale, it's less a deception and more a concession. A way of saying, let's move on from the past and start anew. No hard feelings. Huh. You don't have hard feelings? 
What about father? What about Demeter? Well, let's see. My hard feelings are nothing next to the joy of having my son in my life. Your father never imagined his relationship with me could be out in the open. And my mother, she's just glad I'm alive. And Uncle Zeus is glad things didn't turn out worse for him. I get the sense he acts a bit impulsively at times and deals with the consequences later. <laughs> what can I tell you, Zagreus? We're family. You said it yourself to me before. We're stuck with one another. That any of us like each other in the slightest. It's a wonder and a blessing, I think. Yeah, I know what you mean. Thanks, Mother. I think I'll be heading out again soon. See you when I get back. Sounds good. I'll see you then. Alright. That was actually kind of cool. Still can't get over our gift from the Olympians. Holy shit! A majestic gilded edifice of Mount Olympus. Crafted with the utmost care from the true mountain stone. Now shines forever brightly, even in the dim light of the House of Hades. As a parting gift from the Lord Master's kin. The handiwork of Lord Hephaestus himself. Sounds like he's been rather busy. It's only a matter of time, I suppose. We're one big happy family. No issues whatsoever. <laughs> sure. Let's see. Good to go. All right. Oh. What are the limits of your power? Coronach, to reveal your secrets. You must have had yourself a real bash with all those fancy gods and stuff. Could hear all the festivity from all the way out here. How was it, pal? It went better than expected, all in all. I hope you didn't feel left out. It was a pretty limited guest list. Kind of a diplomatic mission, I would say. Not quite as good a time as it might have sounded from the outside. Oh, don't you even worry about me there, pal. I much prefer the solitary life. And besides, when things are good for you, they're good for me. Glad everything worked out. Same here. Do that. Get rid of middle management. Uh, measures can get lessened. Jury summons. Let's go. Break out again. times must I explain this boy? Each pact of punishment needs to be properly signed and sealed and filed, rather than pile up. Not even the pact of punishment can stop me. Oh, dearest, you've no idea what a delightful time I had while visiting you recently. So many new sights and sounds and smells, why it was wonderful. And you are burdened with a big responsibility, aren't you? Mind if I lend my graces to you still from time to time? Like that. Strength and beauty. I don't like this because of how much it takes for my health. All right then. 
Skulls. I should not have done that. to see in all that red. All right. That's a fight. The clid. Got me a knucklehead. Let's take the Ares boom. recent shared festivities, my kin. At last, I've finally seen your death-filled realm firsthand. I learned a great deal. And I look forward to learning more from our successful collaboration, hmm? There's a vengeance. I will keep fighting. Dionysus! Hello 
Oh, Zag, I don't entirely recall what happened at that feast you threw for all of us down there, but let me tell you, I am under the impression it went smashingly. It was amazing, man. Let's have another one sometime, all right? Okay! Time to feast. This abyss! Aren't you a sight? Hello, sir. Boldy, you. Sorry. Thanks. Prince said, my understanding is the Queen herself is back. Is that correct? Moreover, I have heard a truly fascinating rumor about her. That I'm her son. It's true, sir. And she's back with us for now, indeed. I think we're all still getting used to it, but it feels good having her in my life. That's wonderful to hear. I'd always heard good things about that one. No wonder such a quality runs in the family. It's all yours. Cheers, mate. All right. Daedalus hammer. and stop this meddler. Good without another chaos spoon for now.
Okay, let's go to Karen's shop. Hope you enjoyed the feast with the Olympians, Charon. We didn't have much of a chance to chat, though it looked like you and Hermes were having a good time. We'll have to do it again sometime. Cheers, mate. Artemis, guide my hand. All right. Hi, you two. Ready, Tess. I guess we know the drill by now, don't we? Not that I don't enjoy our little arguments in my own way. There we go. Josephine flew off. Could try a different one. enough Tartarus. All right. Let's get going. Getting warmer. All right. And I'm actually going to go ahead and end it here for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Bye, y'all.